Hey friends, tonight we are doing some shopping for some Disney collectibles and theme park used props and memorabilia. I'm going to some of my favorite uh, thrift stores and antique shops looking for some cool items that I'm going to be auctioning off on the Whatnot app. It's a live stream auction and raising money for a good cause and I uh, thought it would be fun to bring you guys along and do a little shopping. Anywho, let's go do this. We made our way down to the Lakeland Antique Mall. This is one of my regular spots that I always come and uh, shop around to find some good things. I love it here. You guys know that. I come here all the time. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a whatnot live stream auction. So it's going to be a live auction for all of the items that I'm going to buy today. So you guys are going to have a chance to actually purchase them. And I'm raising money for a family that is in need of a trip to Disney World. And we wanted to make a little magic for them. And I'll go over more of that during the actual whatnot live stream. But if you are interested, it's going to be January 17th. And I'll put a link in the description. Or if you just want to go to what not itself the app and just you know type in paging mr mar i'm sure i'll pop up and uh it's gonna be some amazing items we're gonna browse around and see if anything catches our eye there's a lot of things here the lakeland antique mall is absolutely huge and like i said everything in here is for sale so i'll put all the information in the description if you want to check it out but there was just row after row after row of really cool stuff here is a really awesome stand with tons of cast member outfits. Look at this, this is a Fantasyland cast member costume. And it's selling for $349 for the whole set. But oh, oh, wow. That right there is a Splash Mountain cast costume. That's selling for $700. It comes with a shirt, pants, and belt. Look at that. That's going to be soon extinct. They have a lot of good stuff over on this side. I didn't even, I've never even been over to this little store before. This is something that's really cool. A bunch of fast food advertisements. Everything from Burger King to McDonald's. And normally you wouldn't think something like this is actually like valuable. But people will hang on to just about everything. And let me tell you something. After looking through some of this, I just feel a big rush of nostalgic. And I'm definitely going to be getting some growing up it was a big deal to go to mcdonald's in fact i remember my mom used to use it as a reward system you know i remember we used to go to our swim lessons at the ymca and if we were good we'd stop and get mcdonald's on the way home or if we went to the doctors we'd stop and get a happy meal and they have tons of like happy meal bags and little boxes from like when i was growing up they have them all like labeled by like genre, like 101 Dalmatians, Beauty and the Beast, Hello Kitty, Fible, Despicable Me. And I actually went through and I picked up a bunch of them because I was so excited. Like, look at this Toy Story Happy Meal. I'm going to get a lot of this stuff and I'm going to include it. But a lot of this stuff I'm going to keep for my, myself because I really do just love it. Look at this old big boy, Snow White. Oh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Did you guys collect the little uh, animals? These were so cool. Oh, I had every single one of these watches growing up. That is the best. Look at this. Aren't these so cool? And I can't believe they preserved them. Hercules, Hercules. Look at that. They also had a gigantic bin of banners over here. So I pulled one out and take a look at this. It's the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Look at that. That is so cool. The witch in the middle. McDonald's Happy Meal. On top of buying items for my upcoming auction, I'm also looking for some vintage Disney hats. This right here is an MGM Studios Tower of Terror hat. And I wonder if they have, the, but that's for my own personal collection. I thought it'd be cool to kind of keep on looking for the retro stuff, you know? A couple of other cool things I stumbled upon are these little tiny picture frames with all different like vintage uh, tickets. Right here is a bounce back ticket for Disneyland. And this is one the Matterhorn first opened up. It was so popular that people were upset if it went down, they weren't allowed to ride. So they gave them a bounce back ticket so they can come back to the park. Isn't that awesome? 
We're sorry that Matterhorn Adventure is not ready for you today. Please accept our apologies and this complimentary admission ticket to return to Disneyland anytime through December 15th, 1978. That's a really cool piece. And then we have like an out of order one. And then this Walt Disney World wheelchair advertisement. Look at this, it's actually a wheelchair. It says Walt Disney World in there. I don't know, this stuff kind of just gets me excited. I like it. In the art corner, they have these glass cases and normally they keep the good stuff back here. And there's a lot of stuff that kind of catches my eye and I'm like, wow, that would be really cool to have. Like this Haunted Mansion watch. Look at this watch right here. Just look at the whole setup. 999 Happy Haunts, October 29, 2003. I'm probably sure they only made 999 of those. And uh, it looks like it's $395. And then down here, this is a really cool piece. This is from the opening of the Magic Carpets. The, uh, the ride, Aladdin, and that's like a piece of it right there. I like that a lot. That's selling for $495. Ooh. And I think we see ourselves a Walt Disney Imagineering license plate back here that I might fancy. Oh yes, look at that. I think we're gonna have to add that in there. I'm always obsessed with the different hard hats from Walt Disney Imagineering and one of these really caught my attention and that is the Horizons Demolition Party, April 7, 2000. If you guys remember Horizons and Epcot and look at this. Look at how cool this hat is actually. I'm going to try to take off this back piece so I can show you where it says Walt Disney Imagineering. Look at that. It's actually a little stick of dynamite. So this is when they destroyed Horizons. They got to wear this hat. This is a cool find right here. And they also have some other good ones too. Like these brown ones right here. These ones are marked by individual like uh, names. So this one was for Mark. And then the thing that I like most about it is probably the Imagineering logo on the back here. Look at that. Imagineer selling for $695. There's a lot of other good ones here too, like Disneyland right here, and then just the regular Buena Vista Construction Company hat. But this is really cool. I've never seen brown ones before. Oh, and also it has a Sorcerer Mickey on the side. Like that's actually not even a sticker, that's actually etched onto the hard hat itself. That's really, really cool. Whenever I'm looking at something, sometimes I overlook it and I miss something that's really cool. And I was browsing the hard hat section and like, I know I got all excited about the Imagineer one and then of course the Horizons one. But look at how cool this one is. This one right here is a red Mickey firefighter hard hat. This is super cool. In Disneyland, they actually gave this to uh, the firework crew as like a safety hard hat. And it was for, you know, the firefighters in case there was an accident. Sometimes things are so big, I wish I can buy them, but it would be impossible to ship and move around. But a couple of things I was like, wow, if that wasn't such a large item, I probably would get. You can see some of these figurines and statues from the Disney store, but look at the size of Goofy up here. Holy moly. That is a huge Goofy. <laughs> I love it though. I think it's so cool. I think it's selling for like $13,000. Holy moly. But that's huge. Goofy is gigantic. And he's just hanging there. They also have some props from the old Hollywood Studios villain in Vogue shop like that little mummy up there That's kind of cool. I Also came across a really awesome cast member shirt and these are so cool The best way you can tell that it's a cast member shirt is when they have the stamp from Disney Worldwide Services But this shirt right here is from the Polynesian from the restaurant Ohana So the servers would actually wear this. This is an actual Ohana cast member shirt And I think this is a really nice piece to add in. It's a size large but there's a lot of Polynesian fans out there, including myself, that would love to add this to their collection. You don't see much about Roger Rabbit, but this one's cool. Who framed Roger Rabbit? It's the story of a man, a woman, and a rabbit in a triangle of trouble. Time to tune in again. I like this. This is only $45.
I mean, I love this, but it's so hard to ship something like this. So it's just a poster. This is just a poster itself, but you want to keep it like in this state. You don't want to roll it up or anything, but that's a really cool deal for $45. Some of the things that actually end up here are very current and things that are going on at the moment, like present time. And uh, one of the things I noticed is an abundance amount of something that hasn't returned back to the park since the shutdown. And since I see a lot of it for sale, it kind of leads me to think that it's not coming back ever again. In Hollywood Studios, they had the Jedi training, and uh, this was a cool interactive thing, and it looks like they're selling off all the robes, so I don't think it's coming back. I think it's done for. This is a lot, and like, look, they have all of them here, unless they're, gonna, unless they're gonna come up with new robes, but they used to give these to the kids, and they would have to wear them when they did the training, but then take them off and return them, and then they would, they would probably wash them, but this is like all of them. I noticed a couple more really old vintage posters. You got the Aristocats here, and then a Care Bear one. But then take a look at this beautiful Grand Floridian picture. Look at that, $195 for that with the monorail in the background. That's a really cool piece. And I'm sure this is from a resort too, but that one's nice and the frame is nice. Very heavy. This is a really cool piece. This is one of the mailboxes from one of the resorts. I don't know what resort this is from though. Huh. This is really cool. You used to put your mail in there and they'd send it out for you. I can't really tell what resort it's from though. It says it's $195. It's pretty sturdy though. It'd be impossible to actually ship around, but I think that's cool. I'm sad to report I haven't found any really cool vintage Disney hats, all except for one, but I don't think it'll actually fit on my head. It's still kind of cool though. Look at this vintage Donald Duck hat. Look at this, Walt Disney World Donald Duck hat. It actually says Walt Disney Productions large. This is a really cool piece. I love it. It's kind of scary looking. The bill, the brim. It's very small though, I don't think it'll fit on my head. Of course I can always wear it this way. Okay. <laughs> it's very, very tiny and it's fragile, so I don't wanna break it. This is a little banged up, but it's also a really cool piece. This is a Walt Disney Magic Kingdom tray. And it's so cool because this is in Disneyland and it says Magic Kingdom on there instead of just Disneyland. And I don't know, there's no date on it, so I don't know when this was made, but just the idea behind it, it's really awesome. I like this a lot. These are actually really cool too, different little Disneyland plates, souvenir plate, but how about a Disneyland ashtray? Look at that. They actually sold these in the parks. I think I'm gonna get these. I think these are really cool. Now this is a real treat right here. I've never come across any like props that were used in Epcot really, but this is a prop from the Rose and Crown. Look at this, they actually have a little hat in there, Rose and Crown pub, and then a little patch there, and a lot of other stuff. This is actually very nifty. I've never seen anything like this before. It's got some wear and tear because it was used inside the restaurant. I think the uh, box itself is breaking. But I'm intrigued in this. I think I'm gonna I, I think I'm gonna get it. Since we were talking about nostalgic feelings and going through all the McDonald's stuff, I come across a nice collection of lunch boxes too. Look at Beauty and the Beast, 101 Dalmatians, and then look at this Lion King one. I actually remember having this, and this one comes with the thermos in it too. And it's one of the soft lunch boxes. Oh, this is cool. I might have to get this to add to the uh, auction. I'm sure one of you guys would love to have this. Look at this. This is cool. This makes me feel good. I came across a lot of really cool Walt Disney Imagineering passes and badges. And these are things you wouldn't recognize, but it's so amazing. Look at this, a special guest star 
at Disney's MGM Studios, Mark Dunlap. He was a Walt Disney Imagineer. And then also, look at this. This is a Walt Disney Imagineering Safari Tour, but the date is September 27th, 1997. Animal Kingdom didn't open until Earth Day 1998, so this got them access to go on the safari before the park even opened. And then this over here is Innoventions from Epcot Construction Crew. This is so cool to me. I'm, I'm obsessed with these items. This is a, a, a Walt Disney uh, Imagineering preview access for Test Track. For Test Track 1998. So many cool things. You just got to dig through. You got to go through all this stuff to actually find the good stuff though. And it takes a long time. Oh, there's a Cali River Rapids one. Oh, here's another MGM Studios one. Something cool that they're doing down at the Lakeland Antique Mall. They have like a little uh, hide and seek going on with an evil clown named Loki. And if you find him in the store, uh, he's just kind of like hiding around. You will get $25 off your purchase. Isn't that so cool? And this is what he looks like. Loki looks low-key frightening i don't even know if i want to find him but i mean 25 dollars is 25 dollars, so it's kind of cool so if you guys come down here be on the uh, lookout for loki all right i think we are all done shopping i got a lot of great items i mean there are tons of things that i personally want to keep but we're going to auction them off and you guys are going to get your chance to buy it everything is starting off at a dollar so you can really get some amazing deals uh and i've actually in the past i've done a couple of these whatnot live streams and i've seen items sold and i was like wow i would have paid like 10 times the amount for that so it's really cool you're going to definitely want to tune in for that and like i said i'll put the link in the description and now we're gonna head back up near Disney maybe go to a park maybe grab something to eat I've made my way back home right over here is Magic Kingdom and I decided to stop to a local joint called Playa Pizza and it's actually in a really nice little uh, shopping district with like stuff a bagel and real bowls and then over here is my new optometrist sight to see and i uh, just recently got some new glasses from there and i found out that uh they make same day lenses so if you ever break your glasses at the magic kingdom you can come right on over here and uh the real uh they can uh, fix your glasses for you i've actually always wore the same glasses like for years and years and i just got these these ones from here i got fancy little ray-bans i don't know if you guys noticed or not i like them though i think they're very cool and this is a really cool spot so now we're gonna actually make our way into uh player pizza player pizza is really good food i've been here before but i've never made a video uh about it this might be one of the coolest little pizza spots in the area. It's located right across the street from Magic Kingdom, so you can watch the fireworks while eating pizza here. It's really cool, like right here is Magic Kingdom. This is all cast parking right now. I like it here a lot. It even says, to all who come to this pizza place, welcome. Kind of like the uh, Walt Disney speech. Very cool, so we're gonna give it a go. You guys might know I'm a little bit obsessed with pizza places and I've had the pizza here, it's pretty good, but I kind of want to try like some of the other food that they have. They make pasta here every single day, so fresh pasta is always a good start. I love all of the names of all of the entrees, like Mom's Spaghetti, that's really cool. They got the Chicky Chicky Parm Parm, Chicky Chicky Parm Parm, Mamma Mia Marcel, Longboard Lasagna, Dude Where's My Carbonara, <laughs> it's really funny actually and they have tons of stuff they got rabbit food handheld but not pizza yeah. I didn't realize it until right now but the mom spaghetti like description is snack back snap back to reality because you're going to lose yourself in this heaping portion of marinara covering a labyrinth of pasta don't be nervous or intimidated on the surface we know you're calm and ready to enjoy a nostalgic delight <laughs> They have a very impressive pizza oven right behind me here, as you can see. So I am gonna dabble with some pizza. I'm with a friend, and uh, also I wanna get the pasta too. I can't come to a restaurant and not try some of the pasta and the pizza together. They also have some really good apps too. 
Also, all of the pizzas have really fun names. Pineapple is my safe word. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. A pizza has no name. Animal lover, are you still vegan? Hawaii 5 -0. This all looks really, really fun. I don't know what I want to get. Here are the garlic knots, or I forget what they call them, hottie knotties? I think that's what it was. They look actually really good. They don't look like garlic knots themselves. They look like garlic dinner rolls. And then here's the chicky chicky nug nugs. This is house-made chicken nuggets. So they make their own chicken nuggets, their own breading and everything. This all looks really good. All right, I'm going in on the garlic knots. Look at these things. They're actually really big. Very garlicky, very cheesy. Pull it apart. Like I said, I don't feel like they're knots. I feel like they're like dinner rolls. Get a little marinara sauce on there. That's good. Wow. That's a good garlic knot. Or a good garlic dinner roll. Now I'm gonna try the homemade chicken nuggets. I got a little buffalo sauce on the side there. Oh, I should try it without the sauce first, though. Without the sauce first. That's fun. They don't taste like Chick-fil-A nuggets. Not bad. For our pizza, we decided on getting the pineapple is my safe ward. And look at it, it's a nice pineapple pizza with jalapenos and hot honey on there. That looks good. This looks like a, such a good pizza. I'm gonna try to see what the crust is like. Oh yes, look at that, nice undercarriage. It's a popular question. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Look at this, a little flop there, not too bad. I'm gonna burn my mouth though, I can tell already, it's super hot. Look at the steam coming off there. This is very good pizza. I like it a lot and you know it's funny because I always talk about how there's you know no good pizza spots in Florida and it all has to do with the water but they found a way to kind of hack it they actually have a New York water making machine here they literally have a machine that converts Florida water into New York water I didn't even know such thing existed look at that New York water maker this is really impressive. This is also where they make their pasta. So they make the pasta in-house, the dough in-house, and a machine to convert the water to New York. Fresh, clean, magical. And here is my pasta dish. Look at this, I got the orchetti with the chicky chicky parm parm, and I gotta try the meatballs. They make the meatballs in-house. This is good, very saucy. Normally, a lot of places just put sauce right in the middle, but the noodles are evenly coated already, and that's impressive to me. That's a, that's a big, big, big good start. First, let's try the meatball. One meatball. That's good. Good meatball. Now I'm gonna try the orchetti. I like saying it. Orchetti. There we go. Very good pasta. Porchetti down. Seriously, I'm impressed with this dish. I'm impressed with the noodles. Like, it's nice to have fresh pasta. I don't think you can really get it any other places. On Disney property, I think the only place that does make their like pasta fresh is Trotteria Alferno on the boardwalk. And it's nice to have a little spot, kind of. It's literally, when I say it's like, it's one minute away from Magic Kingdom. Overall, I have to say, I love the food here. I love the atmosphere. I love the location. This is a home run. It's a home run spot. It's open till 2 a.m. every single night. That's incredible. I'm pretty sure you can order some of this pizza probably to your Disney resorts because of how close it is. And now I think we're gonna actually head to Hollywood Studios. I think I'm gonna go, go to Hollywood Studios. End it at uh, Hollywood. Nice little night, maybe some Fantasmic. Maybe some Tower of Terror. Who knows? And just like that, we have made it to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Look at that. Such a beautiful night out tonight.
it is 7.45 and we have a little bit of time to actually do some cool things. I do want to catch the 9.30 show of Fantasmic. It looks like the Tower of Terror is at like 140 minute wait. So I don't know if that's in our cards, but maybe we'll go to Baseline and then see what other rides we can probably get done before Fantasmic. I feel like Baseline is a good place to start. Kind of like how it always is. It's my go-to spot. Good music, good beer, good place to start. Well, I thought we would be able to make it at least a rock and roller coaster, but the line seems a little too long. So I think we're just gonna head on over to Fantasmic, find a nice little seat and enjoy the show. Hopefully being a half an hour early is gonna guarantee us a spot in the front row. We may get wet, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Look at this, front row. Definitely in the splash zone, but honestly, it is the best spot to watch this show, I think. Everyone likes to sit up top or like in the middle. I like being it right in my face. Right, pow, right in the kisser. I also want to point out that it is super cold out tonight. I think it's in the 40s, isn't it? I think it's like in the 40 degrees. Like, So a lot of people are bundled up with their scarves. I got my hoodie on. I got my nice little uh, Roosevelt uh, performance hoodie and uh, it's a nice chilly night for Fantasmic. Fantasmic always knows how to make me happy. That was so amazing. I love that show so much. Now it's time to head home, start organizing all of the different props that we got and listing them up and see uh, Gracie girl. Gracie, I'm home. There she is. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, look at that butt. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah. All right, here is a look at everything we have for the auction. I got a lot of great items that I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in. And also don't forget about all of the figment stuff. I think we're just gonna do these as giveaways. So you can win a figment popcorn bucket, figment socks, figment magic band, just by coming to the Whatnot live stream auction. All you have to do is just be there and you might actually win one of these items. And also maybe I might give away a couple of these ones, but we have some great stuff and I'm so excited. Like I said, I'll have everything listed. So if you just wanna check the link, I'll put it in the description and in the comments. And uh, you guys can bookmark my show and follow me on there. It's gonna be a good time. I mean, the Horizons Demolition Party hat hat is such a cool piece, along with the Mickey Firefighter one. I love all of this stuff. All of this stuff is really fun. 
I also have a whole bunch of the McDonald's, uh, Disney, like 90s nostalgic stuff. I'm gonna be posting some of that as just a buy it now. So you can, you can just buy it and I'm gonna be auctioning off some of them, but I got a lot of those. I wanna make sure that if you come to the auction, the live stream, you can donate and you can buy something, you know, that's small and there's of course some of the bigger priced item things. I want a little bit of something for everybody because I think it's so much fun and it's a good time anyway because we're usually laughing and joking and talking about the pieces in general and uh, yeah so I hope to see a lot of you guys there and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye